Next topic is the Wilmot Proviso or Proviso. A little background on this. It's 1846. America is about to go to war with Mexico to try to get the Mexican session. This is what we talked about when we were studying Manifest Destiny and Westward Expansion. So we're kind of going back in time to review. So this was the last piece of the puzzle. President at the time, this was the president that helped gain more land than any other president was James Polk. So he wants to go to war with Mexico to get the last chunk of land to fulfill our manifest destiny. And that was California and New Mexico and Arizona and Nevada and a few other portions of other states. So as we've learned, we've discussed the president can't go to war, has to get Congress permission. So he, he writes up a bill to send to Congress asking to go to war and also asking money for the war. Um, wars aren't cheap. You have, to, you have to pay for it somehow. So he needs Congress's permission. So there was a representative from Pennsylvania named David Wilmot, and he gets added into this bill um, a section which he's trying to affect slavery moving forward. And notice he's from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is a northern state, so we can assume he is anti-slavery. So what this proviso did is it stated slavery would not or could not exist in any territory gained from Mexico. So when they're writing this in, we don't know if we're going to win against Mexico in the war. What it's saying, if we do win, whatever land we gain, slavery cannot exist there. So who opposed this? Obviously, Southerners are going to oppose this. They argued Congress does not have the right to decide where slaveholders take their property. Um, they were upset about this because... If anything, what they want is if we gain land from Mexico, they want slavery to move into that territory to expand. In the end, it didn't matter all that much because it passed through the House of Representatives, but it didn't pass through the Senate. So it didn't become law. But it shows another example of the North and the South continuing not only to argue over slavery, but slowly splitting apart. And this right here where you see my cursor, this was the last chunk of land to get the Mexican session. So this is the part that we are talking about here.